Hi everyone, welcome to another bite size tip. Uh, today we're going to be talking about um, how you can use the WASD keys on your keyboard to align objects or layers in Figma uh, without having to go to the panel on the right. Um, so without further ado, let's go at it. Uh, let's select these two. Uh, just a little bit of context. Uh, WASD is very used in video games for direction navigation. I think that's where Figma got it from, and, and it's a nice Easter egg for gamers out there. Uh, so let's do option A to the left, option D to the right. That's pretty much that. Vertically, if we have these like keys based vertically, we can do um, option W to align to the top, we can do option S to align to the bottom. Uh, as a bonus, you can actually also press like shift, uh, but this one you're going to have to do it here. You see that it changed the two little square around them. And now you can do, what you can do is like we align the group by the one that was most of the top, the one that was most of the bottom. But now we will align, we'll align this as an actual group. So it will align to the center. There we go. And let's do the same here. Option A, left. Option D, right. And we can also come here and do vertical alignment to the center. Uh, a little bit of an extra bonus is if you have a group selection inside of a parent uh, container or a parent group or a parent frame, uh, you can actually also use Shift to now align the entire selection to the group itself. So align to the right, align to the bottom, align to the center and center again. There you go. You see how, how that is useful sometimes. Uh, if we didn't press shift, it would just align the actual objects of the selection. But if you press sh uh, shift, you can actually align the selection itself to the parent. That's pretty much it. I hope you liked this tip and, and tell me something in the comments and see you next time.